clean rooms are not just rooms that are especially clean. Through their design, construction and operation, they provide first-line protection from contaminants during manufacture. Contamination is carried by air. This contamination can be controlled when the air entering the clean room is passed through high efficiency particulate air filters, which greatly reduce the number of particles and viable organisms entering the room. These filters are called HEPA for short. The incoming air is also maintained at a moderate temperature and low humidity, so that it is less hospitable for the growth of microorganisms. The movement of HEPA filtered air in a clean room is not random, but carefully controlled and importantly at a specific velocity. This maintains what is known as unidirectional airflow, which can be described as constant parallel streams of air that sweep over the complete surface area of the room. The uniform streams of air collect particles and transport them out of the clean room through grills and ducts. The air is filtered and recirculated. The flow of air within clean rooms can be visualized by the use of smoke and this technique is often used to establish whether the air is moving in an acceptable manner, without turbulence and dead spots. Obviously this is only done when the clean room is not operational, as the smoke itself is considered a contaminant. Each area in a clean room and the surrounding environment must meet specific standards of air cleanliness. This is called clean air classification and refers to the amount of particles and microbiological contamination permitted in a specified volume of air adjacent to specific operations. For example, critical operations such as filling and closing of a sterile product are performed in the critical area, most likely in a class 100 environment, where no greater than 100 particles of size 0.5 microns or larger are permitted per cubic foot of air. This is comparable to the ISO class 5 and EU grade A classifications, which use metric measurements. Less critical operations may be performed in areas with a lower air cleanliness classification, often referred to as supporting clean areas. It is therefore important for higher air cleanliness areas to be maintained at positive pressure, so that any particles from the support area do not find their way into the critical areas. In fact, they are actively pushed away by the positive...